helping animals and pets live better lives. It's all part of the Ohio State University Veterinary Medical Center. And Anthony Rothman is here to start our week-long look inside the center. This is Quincy, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel who traveled all the way from New York to have an MRI at the Ohio State Wright Center of Innovation. We're going to look in the brain. We're going to look at the spinal cord and see if there are any abnormalities there. Quincy is just one of thousands of animals a year benefiting from Ohio State's recognized programs, research, and medical expertise. Many surgical techniques and interventions are only done here because we have the specialists. And those Ohio State specialists work hand in hand with the patient's primary veterinarian. They have a lot of the history of, of that particular case and we consider the primary care veterinarian uh, really a vital member of our patient care team. And the Ohio State College of Veterinary Medicine has graduated more veterinarians than any other school in the country. And you may not realize that the Ohio State Veterinary Medical Center houses three separate hospitals. One for companion animals for our friend Tuxedo here, one for farm animals, and the Galbraith Equine Center for our buddy Apache. Research and discovery is one of the key missions of the college and medical center. And we're fortunate here because we have such a large clinical trials program. So it allows people to have access to novel therapies. So when you can take these sophisticated kinds of research, put it in people's hands to improve the health uh, and well-being of our animals, then that kind of completes the cycle. We already know about the best damn band in the land. But we also have the best damn veterinary school, uh, and I believe that, and you're actually going to see it get better. I'm Anthony Rothman, reporting from Ohio State, where they're creating a healthier world for animals. And now we know what an alpaca looks like after neck surgery. Hmm. That's not something you see every day. Thanks, Anthony.